Chocolate Jib Cookie Fans. Today we are going to be customizing a My Little Pony. And as you can see, I have a blind bag here. It is already open because I know which pony is on the inside. It is... So it looks like we've got another Big Macintosh. Here is his little card right here. So Big Macintosh, Applejack's older brother. So sweet and gentle, wise pony. First of all, I love these boy ponies right here. I absolutely love them. And I know I had already just painted one that looks like this. But I actually bought a lot of these um, boy blind bags. So I've got a bunch of them to customize. Yay! So we've got another beautiful little boy here to add to the My Little Pony world. Except for now, we are going to be customizing this Big Macintosh just like we did with this adorable little mint pony right here. He's a mint, chocolatey, chippy, yummy, tasty pony. Now we are going to take this awesome pony right here and we are going to turn him into yummy pumpkin pie. Yes! Awesome, awesome, awesome. The holiday season is now upon us and what is the holiday season without some pumpkin pie? So we have to create this adorable little pony to look like pumpkin pie. Pumpkin, 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 pumpkin pie. Yummy! Okay, so let's go ahead and get started in customizing this awesomely cute My Little Pony boy. Okay, so to go ahead and get started, I've got my paintbrush here that we're going to be using. And all you have to do now is pick what colors you want to paint your pony. So for this yummy pumpkin pie, I am going to be using this acrylic paint right here. This is by Folk Art, and this one is cinnamon. Yay! So let's go ahead and let's use this. I think it would be the perfect pumpkin pie filling color. So what you're going to want to do is we're going to take our adorable little Big Macintosh, and we are going to start painting on his coat color just like this. Super fun. Super awesome. And we want the paint to go on nice and smooth. So it's better to do several really thin layers than to do one or two really big thick clumpy layers because you want the paint to be really super super smooth and not streaky. So there we go and we can paint right in here. And it's okay if we paint a little bit in his hair because we are going to repaint his hair so it doesn't matter. And this color is coming on absolutely perfectly. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We'll just have to put a bunch of different coats on him and then it will really build up this color really nice and then of course take your time going around his face I always cover the eyelash but I take my time going over the eye so you just basically let your paintbrush do the gliding so you just you might just let it glide around eye glider that's all we're doing it's just eye gliding not hand gliding eye gliding Whoop. There we go. And see how quick he's kind of drying up here like that? I might be using a little bit too much water, so we just go ahead and we'll just add another layer of paint on him like that. Easy fix, not a problem. And like I said, this is just the first coat layer, so the very first coat layer, even the second layer, sometimes the third layer, look kind of meh, or you can't really see what the pony's going to look like, but you know it's going to be awesome. So we'll just keep on painting and keep on eye gliding until he's completely covered with paint. Oh, he looks kind of muddy right now. So there we go. He has his very first layer of paint on him right here of his yummy pumpkin pie color. So we are just going to let him dry, and I can tell he's going to look really amazing this coat color is coming on really nice and this is just the first layer so check on back whenever he's completely dry and we'll put a second coat on him yeah. looking good so let's go ahead and we'll put a second coat of paint on our adorable little pumpkin pie do, 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 do. we are looking so pumpkin oh, yeah. just paint all of his body his chest in between his front legs get his back legs get his belly Get his booty. Don't forget to paint the other side of him. There we go. His hoobies. And take your time around his face. Nice and easy. Do, do, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It looks like he is nice and dry now from his second coat. So, of course, we're going to keep on painting more layers of this yummy, creamy pumpkin pie color. So let's keep on going, yeah, yeah. Ooh, see, now his color is really starting to show through. Do you see that? Oh, he's looking so yummy and tasty, just like a yummy slice of pumpkin pie. So let's go ahead and we'll keep on painting him until he is completely covered. And then we can start working on his mane and tail. Yeah. Paint away. 
Oh, yes. The pony's nice and dry now, so let's go ahead and we'll put another coat layer on him. And look at how pumpkin y he is becoming. Every single time we put a layer on, he becomes more and more delicious looking. And that is a big yay! So here we go, putting on this extra coat. Yes, 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 yes. And this might actually be enough. Maybe another coat. I don't know. We'll have to see whenever he's completely dry, but he's looking really, really amazing. Yeah, yeah. This guy is looking good. So now that he has all of his coat layers on, I have completely painted him. It's time to give him a really yummy, creamy mane and tail. We are going to do like a whipped cream mane and tail. So I've got this off-white acrylic paint right here. Ooh, it's actually called vanilla. And we are going to shake this up. And let's get painting on his mane and tail. So, woo! So, this is like putting the whipped cream on top of our yummy pumpkin pie. You have to have a whipped cream on it, right? Oh, my goodness. So, his tail and mane are going to be so cute looking, especially with his little pumpkin pie body. And this is going to have to use several, several, several coats of white to make sure we really get really good coverage because his hair was orange before, but now it's going to be whipped cream. So just kind of take your time painting around. Pumpkin pie pony, whipped cream frosting made of tail. Don't forget to paint your tail. Oh yeah. Were we all so perfect for the holidays? Were the cake? Whoop whoop whoop! The slice of pie is looking so so pony. Woo woo! So there we go. We're gonna let his very first layer of his whipped cream mane and tail dry, and we'll be back to check on him. Wow! All right, he's looking awesome. So let's keep on painting until his mane and tail is completely filled with our whipped cream color. So we'll keep on painting here. But I'll keep on painting till you're the right color. All right, so his mane and tail are completely dry. So what we're going to do now is I like to add a little bit of some highlight into my custom pony's hair. So we are going to mix up some of our coat color that we had. So we're going to use some of the brown with a little bit more of this vanilla cream color right here. And we're going to create really, really soft little streaks in our pony's hair. All right, so I've got a little bit of my color mixed up here. So let's go ahead and we'll paint on really faint some really soft little streaking so we'll just kind of go like this so it almost looks like a little bit of a caramelly yummy color it kind of looks like if the whipped cream got mixed into the actual pumpkin pie you'd get kind of this really yummy mixed color here so we're just going to add some streaks in and again I do this just because I like to add a little bit of some color variation into my pony's hair but completely optional just painting some fun little streaky stripes just a little bit of color makes every pony happy, happy. And we'll even add some cute little coloring to his tail. Awesome. So while I'm waiting for his mane and tail to dry, I'm just going to now touch up some spots here that looks like the paintbrush got away from me just a little bit. So we'll just paint right here. Do, 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 do. You can always go back and do some little touch-ups. So we can make the pony super perfect and pretty. Just like it never happened. There we go. Awesome, awesome. So he's looking pretty good. So let's add some extra little finishing details. So let's give this adorable little pumpkin pie pony a little pie crust right here. So we're going to put pie crust color on his hooves. So basically, I'm just going to take a brown that's a little bit darker than his body right here. So as you can see, it's a little bit darker. And we're just going to paint his hooves. So I'm just going to take him and I'm just basically going to just paint his hoobies right here. You can see right here, just in between his furry little Clydesdale feet. We'll paint the bottom of his hooves too. Do, 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 do. And it just kind of adds a really nice little fun detail to our little pumpkin pie pony. Do, 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 do. I've got pie crust on my hooves. All right, so now we've got his little hooves painted on, and while we're waiting for those to completely dry, let's go ahead and let's give our little pumpkin pie stallion some eyelashes. So we are going to just draw them on. So I got a little bit of some black paint here on my brush, and the first thing I usually do is I usually just kind of fill in some of his um, eyes a little bit. As you can see, there's a little bit of paint that got in right here. It's just not as crisp as I would like it. So I'm just basically going to fill it in with my paintbrush. 
just kind of fill this area in here and it just kind of cleans it up a little bit. It just kind of cleans his eye and just makes it look a little bit better. There we go. So his eye looks a lot better now. So to create his eyelash, I'm basically just going to take my paintbrush and I'm just going to whoop it up like that. So however you want to do his eyelash is up to you. So I'm just going to take my paintbrush and just kind of let it slide down his eye a little bit. And then just go whoop. Just like that. Awesome! He looks so good. Now we just have to do it on the other side and do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to kind of fill in his eye a little bit now. And just kind of going around it and then we'll just swoop it. And there we go. That's it. He has his adorable eyelashes on now. Now we just have to wait for him to completely dry. Okay, so now our pony's hooves are dry, so now we're going to add some lighter color paint on it. And I'm going to really water it down so it just kind of nicely blends in with the darker color. Here we go. And we'll just go all the way around his hooves. Do, 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 do. I've got pie crust on my hooves. They're kind of lighten now with a little bit of a darker crispy edge. Do, 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 do. Paint in my hooves. A nice toasty pie crust color. Woo. Now let's paint an adorable little cutie mark on our little pony. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my paintbrush and I mixed it with a little bit of brown and a little bit of orange to kind of get like a spicy, yummy, pumpkin-y color. And I'm just going to paint a little tiny little pie slice on here. A little pie slice. It'll be a little bit thicker on one edge. Yummy, tasty little pie slice. Okay, so there is one little slice of our pie right here. We'll just let that dry. All right, so let's go ahead now and we'll paint a pie crust on top of our adorable little pumpkin pie slice that we made here. So we'll just put just a little bit right here for a little crust. We'll have it go down just a little bit. Super yummy pie. Yes, it looks so cute. So cute. Now it just needs a tiny bit of whipped cream on it. So I'm going to take just a little bit of our whipped cream color that we have and I'm going to put a teeny tiny little dollop just right on top of our little pie that we have. So it's just a little bit of some whipped cream right there on top. Oh, yummy. So cute. Yum. Now our little piece of pie has some whipped cream on it. He's looking so beautiful. So now we have to put our very, very last layer on our pony, and that's going to be a protective coat. And this basically makes his color pop. So we've got some of this DuraClear varnish on him that's in matte. Let's go ahead and we'll put a little bit on after you shake it up really, really good. It's super important that you shake, 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 shake it. Shake, 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 shake it. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll paint our pony. Put this little sealer on him just like this so we can really, really make his color pop. And then we will be back to check on him once he dries. All right, are we ready to see our brand new pumpkin pie pony? Here he comes. Yay, look at him. He's absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I am so super duper happy with him. I absolutely adore him. He looks so cute and so delicious. Awesome. So here he is, our adorable little pumpkin pie pony. Cute. I wonder if that's a name that I should keep for him. Should I keep him as pumpkin pie? Oh, he's just so adorable and I love his super thick whipped cream hair. I love how the little colors have really popped out. That's so pretty and so cool. Awesome. Thank you so so much cookie fans for watching you know you are so amazing i hope you have a super happy holiday and spend lots of time with your family and creating fun stuff yay i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for hanging out i will see you soon bye cookie fans eat a pumpkin pie slice playmobile christmas sleigh set look at there's santa we are going to be opening up this super super awesome set and looking at these adorable reindeer we've got all of these little presents right here for all the good boys and girls Woo! everything just looks like so much fun so here we go we are going to open this set up and see what it is all about and oh look at that a toy car <gasps> cool 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 okay this is just too much fun too much fun so let's go ahead and see what it is all about Alright, let's take a look at this super awesome set now. So, da da dun 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 Woo! Here we have our adorable little Santa. Look at how adorable he is. Okay, so here he is in his little Santa outfit, complete with the fuzzy little arm cuffs and his boots. And he's got his little Santa hat on. So absolutely fun and adorable little fat Santa.
Santa. He even kind of has a big old jolly belly. Whoa! So here is our adorable Santa Claus that it came with. The set also came with this super sweet little girl right here. Look at her absolutely fun outfit. She's got stars all over her dress. Oh, wow. So cute. So we can either have this be a little girl who's going to be helping Santa deliver the presents, or we can turn her into a Christmas angel. <gasps> Woo! So we've got some extra pieces here, like some wings. So we'll just clip some wings right here on the back of her. Woo! Golden wings. And we'll give her a little headband right here. And we've got a angel wand with a little star on it. So there we go. Now she can fly around and help Santa. Woo! So this set also, of course, has to come with some reindeer. Here they are. They are just so cute. So it comes with two of them that you can actually move their heads up and down so reindeer can like look down and they can eat some snow or hay. They can play fight with each other. They're just so fun and so adorable. These are just really cute little critters that come with the set. So of course we can attach them to Santa's sleigh. So we've got these little reindeer harnesses right here. So we'll just snap these on. There we go. So now we've got our reindeer all ready. So they're ready to go pull Santa's sleigh now. So where the heck is Santa's sleigh? Da 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 da. Woo! Here we have it. Whoa, super, super Christmassy sleigh right here. So this is where we're going to attach the reindeer. And we can go super fast on this. I mean, this thing was made for speed, for getting those toys into homes super, super fast. Look at the cute little Christmassy bells on it, too. And whoa, there is tons and tons of room in here to fill this with lots and lots and lots of presents. So let's go ahead and let's saddle up the reindeer right onto the sleigh. And let's fill it with some Christmas goodies. Take our little reindeer and we'll just hook them up right there. Have this little guy come on over. Oh. All right, awesome. They are all hooked up now to go. So now, of course, we can have Santa sit into the sleigh. So let's have him come on over here. Doop. And he has tons and tons of room in the sleigh. So we even can fit the angel in here. Ah, have her float on in. All right, let's start filling the sleigh now with lots of little presents. So we've got lots of presents that we can actually fill into the sleigh here that are already wrapped. And listen, there's toys in there. Woo! Ooh, I wonder what it's going to be. Ooh, maybe a new Barbie doll. And this one, ooh, maybe it's a super cool monster play set. Put that one in there. Ooh, and we still have some more presents here to pack into the sleigh. We also have some extra toys that aren't wrapped that can easily go under the tree. Brr, woo, like this. We can easily put this little race car right here in Santa's sleigh. Oh, it crashed. It crashed into it. Okay, so go ahead and we'll put it on in here. How about a soccer ball and a teddy bear? I'm sure a good little boy and girl would like to have these as gifts. We'll have the little teddy bear right in the front. We also have a little basket right here that we can fill with some goodies. Like how about some movies and some video games? So we've got lots of choices here, so we'll just easily just put these in here. Awesome, now we'll just load this basket of fun into the sleigh. Woo, looks like we're running out of room in there. Okay, so I think it's time to go. Santa, let's start delivering our presents. So let's give him his little bugle horn here. Let's go ahead and blow it a little bit and sound that we're heading off to deliver Christmas presents.